for Udell Williams, his only professional defeat. It was a long time ago, though. Read into that what you may. Must win fight, though, Jim, if he's going to have any pretensions of fighting at World Elite. Yes, at uh, 32 years of age, uh, he won't be expecting any second chances, so he wants to capitalise on the position he holds at the moment and hopefully move a step further uh, just to let us know how good he can be. Sometimes a relaxed style from Williams, I'm going to but then so he can be explosive, dramatic, and very, very clinical. How will he deal with this Martinez, who did share a ring with the uh, world welterweight champion Antonio Margarito, who stopped him in seven. Now up at light middleweight, and there seemed a natural size difference on the scales last night. And you can see it in the ring as well. The first problem for Williams is obviously the southpaw jab that's landed several times already. Uh, Williams hasn't had a chance to respond yet. <coughs> there it goes again. That's certainly going to be the biggest early problem for Williams. Crisp start from Martinez. Williams attempts it again with a body shot of his own. South four who beat him was Michael Alexander. It was only over four rounds. And uh, just one of those blitz early on. I think it's one of those cases, quality fighters shouldn't be fighting over four rounds there. You need time to do a job properly, four rounds in a sprint distance and silly things happen. Yeah, I got one, man. And the other southpaw right. he met, right. Andrew Murray, he dispatched in three rounds, so maybe not such a problem. Good right from Williams and that shook Martinez. Is that the added power? Is that the added weight? Well, Martin is definitely shaken up by that. He seems to have his about him again, but that one uh, stunned him momentarily. Richard was saying when he shook hands with Martinez at the press conference, he felt his strength. I think it's his awkwardness that may be a bigger problem than his strength. The jab going just yet for the big hooks. I think Martinez is just nicking this round but off the jab. Williams not been busy enough. He's intimidated him once or twice. He's shaken him up. I don't think he'll be too disappointed in it with his start. I think Martinez nicked the first round. Richard Williams with uh, Don Davis and in the other corner Sergio Martinez with Ricardo Atosha. He's 28, he's won 28 of his 30, that one defeat by Margarito and one draw as well. That was in his third fight, another four rounder Jim. <laughs> yeah, but we have to remember also most of his, his work has been done at welterweight. And we saw in the first round that Williams can walk straight up to him, can walk through his punches and let his own punches go. So that could be a big problem for Martinez, and I think the sooner Williams starts doing that, the better. Because signs that this fellow can mess him around. Yes, in the independent rankings, Martinez comes in at 17 at 10 stone 7, and Williams number 8 at 11 stone. Here's the second of 12. IBO title, property of Richard Williams, fourth defence, the uh, likeable Londoner in the red trunks, looking for win number 18 over the uh, Spanish-based Argentinian Sergio Martinez. Uh, Williams admitted that he hasn't seen much at all of Martinez, but he also said that he's got to fight anyone they put in front of him. Hasn't been as smooth a career as his style, has it? 
No, he hasn't always produced uh, his best boxing. I think that's been his problem. And I think he had some health problems uh, which lingered a little while. It t- took a, a year and a half uh, away from us. But uh, well, once he gets into a groove, he really is a smooth operator. He's just taking uh, a couple of rounds here to, to get started. Often he does when he won the title against Shannon Taylor. He lost the first two, possibly even three rounds, and then uh, took the belt in a dramatic four. Good right from Williams. See, the fact that Williams is able to walk uh, Martinez down, yeah, that could be the big problem for the Argentinian, because he do, if he doesn't have the power to keep Williams away, he's going to have some real problems. He did feel the uh, punch power of Williams in the opener. He's still busy with the jab, though, Martinez. uh, Williams, uh, I'd like to see him a little bit busier. It's good work from Martinez with the jab. Uppercut from Williams, partially blocked. But let's just look to touch shaky there from the Argentinian. And another right hand from Williams. Is that simply going to be the difference here? I think that is. I mean, the strength of Williams is evident uh, as early as this. Then, uh, that, that's the big problem for Martinez. But Martinez is busy. He's probably nicking this round as well, just off the jab. Uh, just outworking. Right then. Yeah, Richard, but uh, I'm sure uh, Williams will be pretty happy the way things are going. He's getting range, and I think that would probably be his big worry. How difficult would it be to get in range with this fellow? Quick hands from Martinez, eager, keen. Looks tough. Can he handle that size difference, which is becoming evident? see the punches already thrown by Martinez over a hundred and uh, landed more but maybe the better quality from Williams would you like to see him do more and uh, just unleash them a little quicker well, well fighters take their personality into the rings with them and, and he's, he's a cool laid back kind of guy so I think he's going to take a couple of rounds to get started anyway it's happened before in fights but uh, that's two rounds he's allowed this fellow to nick on my card. The quality punch is coming from uh, Williams, but I think double them up now. Really start getting down to work. Round three. 